Hey guys, how are you doing? Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy almost New Year. Happy holidays to you. I'm so excited to be sharing it with you. If you're a returning subscriber, hello. And if you are a new subscriber, hello. And I hope that you enjoy this video. Christmas is just a really nice time to show those who you care about how much you love them. You know, we all sometimes go through those last minute shopping phases. I am always guilty of this. Time goes by so, it goes by so fast. I never know where the time goes, but here we are, it's almost Christmas. So I hope that this can help you figure out what to get for your special loved ones. I just need to point out that none of this is sponsored. This is all my own opinion and none of the companies that I mentioned have told me to include them in this video. None of them actually do know that I'm doing this. So I just wanted to provide that disclaimer that these are gifts that I just personally think people will like or gifts that I would like that I think others would like too. <laughs> Starting off with the Traveler. As a person who loves to travel myself, I definitely got so excited when I discovered that Airbnb gift cards exist. Airbnb gift card is not a bad idea. Um, that would be amazing. I got so excited when I found out that those exist. Airbnb is awesome at you know making travel accommodation a great experience. So it's undoubtedly a wonderful gift and even if it's you know maybe not an airbnb or just some sort of accommodation so that when your loved one is traveling they have a place to stay and they don't have to worry about that that's always a nice way to go you can also gift them a very nice hammock so that they can swing and enjoy the peak of the mountain with their friends or just by themselves and enjoy the beautiful view if you want to do something that is more, you know, apparel or equipment, you could buy them a new backpack. If their old backpack is, you know, maybe getting a little wear and tear, or you could buy them new hiking shoes or new spikes to go on the shoes if they, you know, hike in the winter and there's snow or ice, and maybe you could even buy them new clothing. And if you don't know what their style is, the safe bet is always to get an REI or Patagonia gift card or Amazon gift card. You can never go wrong with that. <laughs> Although gift cards can be known to be the easy way out, I think it's ideal because then people can buy whatever rocks their hammock. <laughs> get it? Because you could buy them a hammock and pretend I never said that, that was bad. <laughs> Okay, you can also buy a scratch map so the traveler can scratch off all the places they've been to in the world and can look forward to scratching off many more as they continue to travel. And for the coffee lover, obviously, you could just buy them a gift card to the coffee shop of their choice. I think it's actually a very nice way to show the person that you care of, and if you know that they love coffee, you know, giving them a note saying like, I know you love coffee here, treat yourself to whatever coffee you would like or anything along the lines of that is so special and shows that you put thought into it and that you care. You could buy the coffee lover anything related to coffee, um, like a coffee prescription mug, a coffee pillow, a coffee um, <laughs> anything. Coffee pajamas, coffee notebooks, coffee ornaments, Coffee lovers love coffee. You could buy them coffee beans, coffee cut subscriptions, sorry, anything. <laughs> For the photographer or videographer, you know, I'm sort of touching on the topics that I personally can relate to. Um, and I know, you know, glass that you put, the glass is the most sacred part of a camera. You know, you need those good lenses and they are very expensive. You know, Amazon gift cards, always a great option. This can always help towards that goal of purchasing a, you know, bigger camera, even if it's a small increment of a gift card, for example. Even if it's like $15, that's 15 more dollars that you have going towards that. 
But yeah, lenses are so expensive, so Amazon gift cards are the way to go. As you can see, there is a trend going on here, an upward trend of gift cards. I'm a fan of the gift cards. It's not like they're necessarily things, but it's something that I will be able to use, especially as a minimalist. You have a minimalist in your life, gift cards can be a good way to go. Of course, it's personal preference and whatnot, but like if something is handmade, it's so nice. But anything bought at a store uh, that the person could buy themselves, it's nice to give a gift card um, unless you know that the person has put this on their wish list and they definitely want it. If you're just guessing, uh, you don't want to waste your money and that's why a gift card is a good way to go. So you could purchase a socialite lighting kit or a socialite broadcasting live ring. I actually have that right here. I can show it to you really quick. And it's really cool. I actually just got it. So as you can see, it's, it's still in the wrapping. You just attach this to here right here and then you can use your phone to just broadcast and this is a little mini light ring that illuminates your face so no matter where you are you can just clamp this to like your desk or to a notebook or anything and just you know do a little live broadcasting you're a vlogger and you want to <laughs> if you are like going to an event or you're blogging or you just want to broadcast something that's going on in your life this is a good way to go just need an outlet to plug it in you're good to go this can be used for a lot of reasons for a lot of different types of people not only photographers and videographers there are a lot of good uses for that so i highly recommend it for the sentimental one, I consider myself pretty sentimental because whenever people give me handmade gifts or anything that is DIY, I sort of have just a moment of silence because I appreciate it so much. My heart is so happy. Whenever, you know, someone makes me like a homemade bracelet or a necklace or they pick out charms for a charm bracelet or just making that scrapbook or, you know, making a hand-drawn piece of art that has my favorite quote on it. You have no idea how how far that can go in making someone's day so happy when they receive that. You could also give someone who's sentimental the 24andMe DNA kit. I sort of think it would be cool, you know, someone who really does care about their ancestral background, you know, taking that test might be a fun thing to gift someone. You know, a pair of Heelys for them to relive their glory days. <laughs> a special video of some sort or a compilation of when they were children. Or you could also do a special pillow with a quote on it or a customized pillow with family members or something on it that really resonates with the, per with the person you're giving the gift to. For the significant other, a fun gift is matching clothes, matching bracelets, matching rings, something like that, like things that match and you know, you could do a matching jersey that says like his or hers and then like your favorite number or like princess or king and then like do that, that's so cute. <laughs> you could also, for your significant other, you could also gift them a lovely new perfume or cologne. Uh, my boyfriend got me this incredible one called Bamboo and it smells so nice. You could also do a spa day with your significant other and they could get their feet soaked and you got you could get your nails done or you could both get nice massages. It's just so fun. It's so nice to just go and relax with your significant other and feel rejuvenated um, at the same time. If you're in a long distance relationship, you can give like long distance promise rings. You could do a little, you could, you know, send them little beans where then they are able to plant and grow the bean and, you know, nurture the bean that you gave them. It's sort of cute and it holds them accountable for something that you gave them and it's growing in action living being. Other ideas is you could get them a very special, you know, pillow. You could also do a stuffed animal of some sort and squirt your perfume or cologne on it for the long distance partner. So that's what I, that's what my boyfriend and I are doing in our long distance relationship. What I like to do is just squirt our perfume on everything that we send each other because then when we receive it, it just smells like the person and that is so that just makes us so happy another thing you can do for your significant other is a 
is book a photo shoot or a boudoir photo shoot if the other so pleases. You do singing lessons with a local coach if you want your significant other to serenade you. <laughs> chocolate and or wine. Why not? I mean, chocolate and wine is always a winner. The iFixit Pro kit, if you want to be able to have your significant other help fix the things that you break at your house so you wouldn't have to you know, spend money on that, they could just fix it for you. So for the parental units, I mean, parents, sometimes can be really difficult to buy for. My dad, we always like to get him a tie or anything related to football or huskies. <laughs> and for my mom, we love getting her animal related things. She loves outdoors and nature. So sometimes we get her, you know, hummingbird ornaments or, you know, anything related to the great outdoors and her special animal friends. I guess anything related to home decor is also fun for the parents to look through or um, if you give them a gift card to home goods, they could go and peruse and find something there for their home. For parents with young children, I recommend looking up the small, the dot small dot folk on Instagram because they have so many cute handmade, I don't even know if it's handmade, but just like very cute handmade DIY, not just DIY, I don't know, just you gotta check out their account because once I have kids, I'm going to be referring a lot to their channel, so definitely go check them out. They have this homemade Play-Doh recipe that is so much fun. They have these adorable little dolls and there's so many cute things. It's like me just promoting them, not because she even knows who I am, but because I personally enjoy following, you know, Anna's channel so much. That's her name, um, the one who owns the account, the mother. Um, she has such cute children too. Also like, you know, diapers for babies. Um, you can do that. <laughs> Clothes for babies, bottles for babies a little coupon that you could give them, the parents, I mean, that could say, you know what, go out, go go on a date, I'll watch your children in your house. Or you could do, you know what, parental units, let's go on a getaway um, in a little, you know, nearby local hotel or Airbnb with the Airbnb gift card that you've received or um, <laughs> You could also send them to a very unique getaway such as this orb place that is sort of close to where I live I've wanted to go here all all, all the time. It's so neat. So cool um, And very awesome Anything that sort of you know gets the parents out of the house and allows them to do something together is always nice and you know just trying to think of the things that they would like to receive and putting yourself in their shoes they always love receiving things from their children so even if it's just a really nice heartfelt letter or a nice video saying how much you love them or if they don't do a video a letter would be just as great you just drew them a little drawing or did something that showed them how much you care and love them for the music lover i highly recommend i don't know how this would work but something related to so far concerts in their local town. So maybe you could actually sign up and surprise them with a ticket or you could actually get a ticket and then bring them along on the ride with you because so far is so cool. If you haven't seen the videos that I posted previously about so far um, videos, video actually just one video, but I've been to two concerts and they're so cool. They're in a local random spot and you don't know who the artists are, but it could be anyone one and it's really a cool opportunity to first of all just meet new people meet the artists you know go to a really cool spot sometimes it's in a bar sometimes it's in someone's house sometimes it's in a shop you never know where it's gonna be uh, the first one I went to was actually in someone's backyard and the second one I went to was at a bar where there was food and drinks and it was so much fun and you learn about new people and their stories and it's really really a fun music scene you could also get them a record drinks coaster or a guitar spatula or any instrumental household items <laughs> or, um, you could also buy them like a music lyric paperweight or something that holds papers down in the shape of a music note you could always do you could record them a song if you are musically inclined you could serenade them um, or I guess this is 
yeah, I guess you could serenade someone even if you're not good at singing, they would appreciate it. At least they would find it very humorous. <laughs> you can make them a song. <laughs> there you go. That would be free. <laughs> or you could buy them a super cute vintage iPhone music speaker. That would be really cool. You could buy them AirPods to listen to the music wirelessly. Or you could just buy them a ticket to their favorite band or musical. That's always a good bet. For the cook, you could do a Whole Foods gift card or Trader Joe's gift card. Um, or, you know, just buying them really cute little... <laughs> or just buying them really cute like slates or, you know, customized, personalized cutting boards with their name on it or something. I mean, you can sort of be creative, you know, if they like to, you know, put things on display and take photos of them for Instagram or something. I would definitely say you can never have too many bowls or plates that look nice or are aesthetically pleasing. Or you can buy them a backdrop for the photos to look really nice. And there's this slab company um, where you can actually buy really nice slabs that are backdrops for your photos. You could buy them a granite mortar and pestle if you would like <laughs> so they can really feel cool grinding up those spices um, or it's just a really nice thing to put avocado in and it just looks really nice you could get a sheet like a cheat sheet apron with measurements on the bottom so you wouldn't have to ask siri you can just look down and it does all the measurement mm -hmm. computations and all all that so that's it was it's pretty handy i saw that on the internet and i was like that's handy I could use that when I cook. If you are feeling really gifty, like really gifty, you could send them to a certain country in the world um, if they you know, want to learn more about that country's culture and the food that is made there. You know, that would probably be unrealistic for a majority of us, but at least just paying for a specific part of it or Planting the idea in someone's brain. The authentic food culture there is so huge and so bringing that back here in the States when things are so, you know, torn from their authentic roots is so important and would defin definitely give you a competitive edge. And lastly, there's a chef branding academy and this is something that's actually online. So if you want to build your brand and if you're a chef, this is a really good option in order to grow your chef brand. And then for children, there's this really cool game that I learned about when I was actually studying abroad in the UK. It's called Beasts of Balance and it's combining the physical aspect of a board game with digital aspects, which it's really, really cool. You should definitely look it up. But um, it's a really cool game to give kids, especially to you know show them the digital side of things, but also allow them to understand that it's really important to still play with you know, physical things and not just do everything on a phone. Uh, you still have the characters and everything and you build things on top of each other and the, it's a digital game that you know, you, every like, physical placement affects the game. Um, it's a really cool thing. You can make homemade, uh, homemade Play-Doh as I was telling you from the, smart, the small folk. You could also get them a storm glass that predicts the weather. I've seen this so many, so many places and I think it's so cool. I would get it for myself even, but this would be so fun for kids, especially when you're teaching them about weather and whatnot. You would get them a bean bag or a 3D doodle pen. That would be so cool. Personally, I sort of want that. <laughs> or you could get them a Rebirth or American Girl doll. I mean, you know, the Rebirth dolls can be extremely expensive, but and same with the American Girl dolls. But if your child or the child you're buying for really enjoys dolls, those are always really good options, especially if you can personalize them to make them look similar to the child. And if for some reason um, parents, you know, aren't able to have children, a rebirth baby doll is also a really good option for them to gift that gift of, you know, ha having there be a very like real like child baby doll in the house. Um, that would that's also a really cool option. And lastly, for grandparents, uh, I'm really excited. I really like this idea. It's a memory box. So it plays sounds and also is a memory aid because we remember sounds so well and that connects to our younger years. And so 
it's adorable. You place certain items in there and you know the music plays and you remember the things that are in the memory box. So it's sort of like a special treasure box, but it plays music and it's perfect for a loved grandparent. You could get your grandparent a personalized family pillow or you could also get them a class that allows them to learn new skills like cooking or doing jewelry or painting or anything along the lines of just learning a new skill and I think you know just spending time with them is also really an awesome opportunity and they love to spend time with you and talk with you and giving them giving them that time is also a great gift and they're not going to be here forever so taking the most out of the time that you have with your grandparents is so special. My grandparents have all passed on so I always cherish the memories that I've had with my grandparents and I wish that I could get that time back so I could ask them even more questions. So that's that's that. Alright you guys, there is my holiday gift guide. I hope that this gave you some ideas or just inspired you to start looking for certain items for your loved ones and if anything i hope that you can give your loved ones a big hug and a big kiss and just let them know that you care about them and spread the gift of just love and joy and that in itself is such a huge gift just giving them a smile and showing them that you care and that you want to listen to them is sometimes the biggest gift it is the biggest gift, um, especially if someone needs you to listen. So, you know, being a, you know, open ear and, you know, celebrating the true meaning of Christmas is so important. Happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> All right, you guys, sending you lots of peace, love, and happiness this holiday season. I hope you guys have a wonderful one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.